Hey guys, so I started out by just tracing um, the words with the, you know, outlines of, um, like, the shadows and stuff, and, like, I outlined the different dark colors um, that would be under there. So I just started by painting the background the pink color. So the next thing I did was go in with that bright green that we got and I did the darker, I just did the green as is, I didn't combine it with anything at first um, and I did those like darker shadows with the original bright green under there. And then once I was done with that I combined um, the light green that we got in, with white to make it a bit paler and then I just went in there and did the lighter color green and filled in like that the rest of the shadow for the G in the light green. The next thing I did was combine blue and red um, to try and make the purple for the shadow for the P. Um, I realized that it was going to be too dark so then I added some white and then that was also just not purple enough so then I added some more red so moral of the story is I would start with a base of red and then add some blue to that, blue and white to that, to make it a light purple. I started with a base of blue and I think it was like too dark. Um, but I ended up just uh, mixing it with like more white and more red. Got to a nice, you know, purple color. <laughs> um, you can do, you know, whatever shade you want. So this is what my purple color ended up looking like, um, but I still thought it was too dark, so I just added some white on top of that, um, like a thin layer, and it actually worked really well because the paint was wet still, so it was a lot easier to mix the paint kind of like that. So then for the darker shadow underneath that, um, I ended up just adding um, more blue to my purple to make it darker again because <laughs> I didn't really realize. I recommend starting out with the darker shadows maybe and then adding white to like that same color to make it a paler version for um, the shadows underneath the letters. So then for the uh, shadow under the W, um, I actually mixed the background pink with the red because I thought that would be easier than mixing red and white, which you could also do. I don't really think it matters, but that's just what I did for some reason. Um, and it came out a nice color. Um, it was kind of like a 50-50 mix of red and the background pale pink color. Um, and then for the shadow, again, I just added some more red underneath there for the darker bit. So then for the next um, letter, um, it's kind of like a light blue, but there's like three shades of light blue in this. So I actually just um, added a ton of white to the purple color under the P. Um, and I thought it worked out well. Um, and I added a little bit more blue, I think also. And that made it kind of like a nice color. But you could also just um, play around with the blue and the white um, for this one, and then maybe for the other two blues, just add some green in there. For the darker shadow under here, I just, again, added some more blue um, to the shade I was already using, just to get it a little bit darker. So then for the L, I ended up um, mixing blue and the lime green. Um, this was kind of dark, so I recommend maybe adding some white. Or I kind of messed up and I did the darker shade in like where the lighter shade's supposed to go, so I had to do an even darker one. I kind of wish I did this letter a bit lighter, but that lime green and blue made a really pretty teal. Um, so maybe use that for the shadow, the darker shadow, and then just add white to that mixture for the lighter shadow that I'm doing now. 
or do whatever colors your heart desire because this also looks pretty. <laughs> so again, for the darker shadow underneath the L, I just added more blue to make it darker. And then for the last shadow, the R, um, I did, I added some white to the teal that I used um, for the L. And I started with the darker shadows underneath there. And then I added some white to the same mixture just to make it a shade lighter. And I finished off the shadow for the R. Then at this point, um, I ended up just, it was time to go over the letters with white. Um, you know, just fairly easy, just um, taking your time <laughs> and tracing over all the letters. Um, not tracing, painting. <laughs> um, I would recommend starting with the first um, letter you painted, like for the first shadow. So I started with that green, so I figured it would be the driest and it wouldn't like uh, combine with the white paint because... Um, then I went to the blue R next to it, and that was the last uh, color that I just painted. And it ended up kind of getting in the way, like smudging into the white when I was doing it. Um, so I messed it up right there. But So I would recommend going in the order of the shadow colors that you did for this, so you don't make any mistakes or um, ruin your work. So after you finish filling in all the letters with white, you're done. I hope you guys had a great time painting. I love this. Can't wait to hang it up.